Hi Virgo, welcome to your August 2022 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This will not resonate with every Virgo that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Virgo, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Virgo and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. My intentions for this reading, Virgo, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of August, to ask what may be unfolding, what will be happening, and if something has happened, why has it happened, so you can gain clarity on the situation. This could impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, whatever Spirit would like to bring forward shall be said. And if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you're welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'll be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. All right, Virgo. So let me take the opportunity now for those of my Virgos who are born, who have a birthday in the month of August, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you, I wish you a year of love, luck, success, and above all, abundance. Happy birthday, Virgo. So let's see what will be happening for my Virgos this month in August. Anything that spirit wants to bring to your attention, make you aware of, anything you just need to hear right now. Let's see. Yes, Virgo, we got prosperity with number 31. Prosperity is coming into your life. Success, fulfillment, happiness. Um, you know, what's interesting to me in this card, it's depicting like this bridge that is leading you guys to this like tunnel, to this destination. So Virgo, some of you guys are reaching the destination of your goals that you've been working hard towards, maybe since the beginning of the year, since, you know, Whatever sort of path you've chosen that was not difficult, that you've been working towards, there's going to be some fulfillment at the end of this, at the end of the month, Virgo, for some of you. Um, you know, you guys are reaching a milestone here. You guys are achieving something here that is going to make you feel very happy, very excited, very fulfilled, Virgo. Um, there will be a cause for celebration, I feel, for whatever it is that is coming into your life. Um, you know, this almost looks like a home to me. For some of you, you've been looking for a new home, a new place to live, um, and you may be getting that opportunity to do so in the month of August. Others of you, yeah, it's just some sort of fulfillment of some sort of success you've been working towards, and you've been diligent, you've been persevering through all the trials and tribulations, the blocks you had to go through. The blocks will be removed. You see it right ahead of you, Virgo, that this will be happening, that this is coming into your life, that you've been taking the right steps to get there. And I feel for a lot of you, you're, you're going to achieve this. It is meant to be yours. And it was not easy. You know, this almost looks like an uphill type of climb for me. It took time. It took patience. It tested all the patience you had, but you still persevered. You still pushed through. So Spirit is rewarding you for your perseverance. Spirit is rewarding you for your hard work. Some of you, this may be like an upgrade in your job, your career, 
a promotion, a raise. Some of you may be accepted, get accepted in the school, accepted in a job offer, um, you know, accepted for a loan for some of you too that you've been really needing. This does feel like it's coming through some sort of financial abundance, financial prosperity that may just be the stepping stones for you to get to where you wanted to go. Maybe investment, something that is going to help you get to your achievement. That's amazing. All right. Let's get some more cards to kind of narrow down what exactly this is for you guys. Tell me more about this prosperity coming into Virgo's live spirit. Attachment. Wow, okay. So yeah, I feel for some of you, maybe you're paying off a loan, paying off a debt, whether that is financially or maybe even karmically for some of you guys. And I feel for others of you, there has been something that maybe has been binding you a little bit that has been constraining you um, as far as making your goals happen. I feel that whatever has been blocking you from this success achievement will be removed by spirit. Um, and the interesting thing too, this is a card of number five. And when fives come through in a reading, it indicates a lot of change. And so for some of you, you may have been starting to identify the blocks that have been within your circumstances, your environment, but maybe even for some of you within yourself. And I say that because, you know, she's holding a mask here. And there may have been things that you've been pretending to be okay with or that you have been just trying to compromise so everyone could get some sort of balance in the situation. Everyone could kind of be, you know, appeased. But there's something that I feel, Virgo, you've been compromising too long that it's even affected your own ability to break through break through and break free to exceed to achieve this prosperity for some of you my throat chakra is definitely acting up and I wonder if you've been confining your self-expression your need to move your need to change your need to speak up about a certain change you wanted to make in your life a certain change in your career, a certain change in your strategy and something that you're working towards in your career. And maybe that's what's leading you to your success is that you're changing the strategy. Maybe some of you were trying to repeat the same way of going about the thing that you wanted, but it, it was just not opening up. It was not it was not leading you to where you wanted to go. So some of you have identified what that is and others of you you're going to see it through trying to go a new way so for example I feel like if some of you have been really trying to make a an entrance into some sort of career maybe it would be content creating um, social media you know the hashtags you've been using the content you were creating may have not have felt like resonated with you at a soul level but you thought that that was the way to get the views, to get the algorithm working in your favor, but it wasn't truly an expression of what you felt represented you. And some of you by identifying that, you know, I need to make content or create work or be a part of things in my life in general that really fulfill me, that make me feel free to express myself, to express my creativity, to not be attached to people or situations that I feel I can only be successful in if I get their approval, if I get their applause, if I get their, I don't know, there's something Virgo that you're starting to see that you're a lot more powerful when you act out of your own intentions, when you act out of your own guidance, when you act out of your own will and anything that made you compromise that, compromise your expression, compromise your integrity, it will not prosper because that's not meant for you. You're meant to be your own path forager. You're meant to be that trailblazer that creates something in this world because it was out of your manufacturing, not influenced by anything that is outside of yourself. And for some of you, again, like, I don't know if this was a family member, a coworker, a boss, or even just the doubt you had within yourself if you could really make this, if you could really achieve at this. There's something your ego bonded to in order to 
give yourself that fulfillment, to give yourself that credit that really has just been stifling you more than anything else. But you guys really are detaching yourself from whatever this is in your life that is confining you, constraining you. And others of you, I feel, yeah, debt's being paid off for sure. Or the, you know, the opportunity with whatever career you're going to succeed in or whatever windfall is coming your way, it will help you remove from any sort of debt or attachment that has been confining you for far, far too long. Wow. All right. Let's keep going. Tell me more about August for Virgo, Spirit. Tell me more about August. Oh, Mother Mary's coming through for you guys with love and peace. Wow. And what it says is, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So for some of you, I got to say that um, some of these doubts, these fears, these insecurities may have come through a mother wound for some of you that you are identifying and you are healing. And with that healing, it's sending you and propelling you forward to your prosperity because what happens is if we hold on to something that we are outgrowing that no longer serves us, beliefs about ourselves, patterns that, you know, just sabotage us. Um, they don't, they take up too much room in what we're supposed to welcome in that will be a new beginning in our lives, a new chapter in our lives. And I feel that there was a wound or there was a belief within you, Virgo, that's attached itself to you for far too long, even though you've outgrown it or you've come to be aware of it in some part of you it's still holding you back and I feel that Virgo awareness is the first step if you were unaware of this and you kept on living life with this wound and acting out of this wound and acting out of its ego and it becomes so ingrained in you that it was a part of you then you would be forever attached right but I feel a lot of you are coming to accept some sort of pain, some sort of some sort of past that is no longer a part of your story, that is no longer the means or the reason for you to hold yourself back anymore. And Mother Mary is coming through for you guys to say that, you know, with whatever is still trying to fester in your energy, in your environment, in your situation. Accept love and for yourself. Know that you deserve more than to be stuck in a situation that isn't fulfilling you, is not making you happy. And if there is an opportunity to walk away from this, to free yourself from this, the first step is always the hardest, but I will support you. And for some of you, you've had to rely on yourselves for, you know, most of your lives, I'm picking up on for someone who, um, you know, you had to self-nourish yourself. You couldn't rely on others for that emotional support. Um, and this could have stemmed from childhood. But a lot of you are starting to maybe even accept support or accept the help that you need to get to this prosperity. For some of you, I want to say that spirit may be sending someone in that will invest in your future, that will help provide that financial stability or that opportunity to get you to the new chapter in your life that's been waiting to unfold. And this could come through a feminine energy, um, someone who is very nurturing, who is very understanding, who is very healing and compassionate. Others of you, I got to say, um, if you have had a mother or a grandmother who is no longer with us, who has passed on to the other side, they have been watching over you. They have seen your growth. They have seen that you have been working so hard to overcome and to achieve and to move on. 
And they do know about this attachment that is in your life. Again, through circumstantial situations or what is festering within you. And they no longer want that to be the situation you're in or to allow itself to continue in your life. Um, for some reason, I'm hearing I'm sorry for someone who needs to hear that. I'm sorry is what this energy wants to say. Maybe they didn't give you the chance to say it, but they truly mean it. I feel it in my heart. Um, others of you, maybe there's some sort of an apology coming in that you have been didn't know you needed to hear, didn't think you needed or wanted, but it is coming through. But I feel a lot of you, by moving on, by letting this attachment go or breaking free from this attachment that hasn't made you happy, that has been draining you, will give you peace. Peace of mind. Peace of well-being. And with this newfound clarity and with this newfound acceptance of yourself and your situation and acceptance of how to move forward and what you can do to move forward in it and accepting your ability to do so is going to bring a lot more harmony, going to bring a lot more balance. You are building that path to getting what it is that you want. I feel for some of you with this combination of cards here, um, spirit wants you to know that it's okay to move on. It's okay to move forward. If there is a choice that you're going to be making in August to leave something behind or to detach from something, you are safe in doing so. If it's some sort of fear of, you know, a financial detriment that would be the outcome for making this choice, you will be taken care of. You will be supplied with the resources you need. The help that you've been asking for will be sent on its way to you, Virgo. And that's the help through financial and, you know, assistance or others of you, just spirit providing that support, providing that healing. And I feel for some of you that need to, you know, sit with yourself, reflect on any sort of outdated belief or thought pattern that has been a part of you for so long. It doesn't need to be a part of you anymore. And if some of you, this is stemming from like an inner child wound, um, it may, that inner child will be a part of you, but the sad inner child does not have to be. The neglected inner child does not have to be. You can go within and give yourself that care, that love, and that devotion that you weren't given in your past, that you didn't have the opportunity to receive. But you could be that nurturer. You could be that provider. You could be that protector for that inner child. And I feel that for those even of my lone wolves that um, had that certain circumstance of self-nourishing, self-healing, you're taking that to a whole nother level, which each and every time that you find a challenge, each and every time you find some sort of rut that you may be stuck in, you will forever come out of it because of this belief in yourself, because of this healing within yourself that you'll always give yourself that cup of love to nourish you, to heal you, to help you stand back up on your two feet again even when you feel your legs and knees crumbling under you. And that's what's going to lead you to your victory. That's what's going to lead you to your success. Wow. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Wow, the tower. Change your life. Yeah, there's some change that needs to happen that is coming in and anything that feels a little bit uncertain shakes you up whatever you have lost will be replaced will be given to you stronger that will be way more fulfilling for you than anything that has left your life that you've chose to walk away from in your life let's see what this has to say this is an arc uh this is a card representing archangel chamuel 
And Archangel Chanuel comes with this message, a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So this is going to shake up your life, Virgo, and maybe something already has happened in the beginning of August that has shaken up your life, maybe shaken you up a little bit, trying to understand the reason why, trying to understand their circumstances around the situation. With the tower, it is always divine intervention. That spirit, the universe, God has seen you be stuck in for too long. And because the changes were not happening or because there may have been procrastination or doubt or fear that has kept someone within the same situation, spirit had to intervene because it is no longer your path and spirit does not want you to be a part of something that is no longer meant for you. And this could have just, if it's not an outside circumstance or situation that has changed up your life or changed up your perspective, it could have been a revelation. You could have seen the truth about a situation. You could have, you know, through meditation, through reflection of your life and what you've succeeded at and what more you want to succeed in, you realize something about yourself, about your life that you've wanted to change. Maybe some of you have been in the same town, the same city for years, and it's been wearing you down. Maybe it's been your hometown, and some of you are looking to get out of it. Again, Spirit will provide that opportunity or is giving you the green light to do so. Um, But, you know, maybe this attachment that we were seeing in the beginning of the reading here was the procrastination, was, oh, I can't do this because of that. I'm not ready for this. It's not my time. There's other things I need to do first. Like if you have found yourself to do that, which we all do, there's no judgment here. We all do it at some point of our lives. Spirit saying this doubt and fear is what's keeping you away from experiencing the freedom you're meant to experience. So move forward and take The opportunity, seize the opportunity if it makes itself. Don't make excuses. Don't doubt yourself. Don't hold yourself back from making the change in your life that a lot of you want to make. Let's keep going. Queen of Ariel. Nice. Capricorn energy. By the way, the tower is Aries, Scorpio energy for any of them. Any of my viewers that like to hear the astrological connotations. And what it says is, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. The Queen of Ariel is mature, practical, generous, and happy. So for some of you, like I said, there may be this Queen of Ariel, this Queen of Pentacles coming into your life to give you this opportunity, to give you this chance. And this is someone who is successful themselves who is financially independent, financially stable, who's a boss, um, who has created their abundance out of nothing. You know, someone that I feel with a lot with the Queen of Pentacles is like the Cinderella story that had, you know, rags but made riches out of them. So for some of you, this may be a business you want to pursue, You may want to pursue your own business, but you're afraid of the setbacks. You're afraid of the financial difficulties at first, but you guys need to know you'll be successful at it. This may be your future that the Queen of Pentacles is trying to tell you. Um, Others of you, if this serves right under the attachment card, um, if this is a relationship that is either romantic or family, Um, that some of you may feel dependent on because of the financial stability. Again, what you have lost will be replaced. And I feel that not only will it be replaced, but it will give you so much more prosperity and abundance than what you may be seeing right now staying in this situation. Even if it's a job, right? Okay, it pays the bills, it works the nine to five, but it doesn't inspire your passions it doesn't make you feel like you're it's a part of your purpose um when you dedicate yourself to doing the things that you love to do it will return tenfold financially but keep at it 
keep at it because, again, this card is telling me success will manifest. A lot of you are already going to see the rippling repercussions of this tower through financial abundance, through a financial gift. Wow. Keep going. Five of Ariel. Yeah. And this is the attachment. Maybe for some of you, um, there is a struggle with poverty mindset that you guys are becoming aware of. Or if you're already aware of, you know, the, this is the attachment to it that is taking away from you. It's this, you know, nothing will ever improve. I'll never see the success at the end of the tunnel, that light. Um, this is what you're meant to break free from. This is what you're meant to detach yourself from. This is what's no longer your truth, Virgo, that you're meant to suffer, that you're never going to ch achieve, you're never going to succeed. That mindset is what's preventing you from becoming the Queen of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy here. It may mean something to you guys. But what it says is, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Whoa. So for some of you, a confirmation here that help is on the way. Spirit will be sending you those resources. Spirit will be sending you that assistance, those finances, that, you know, those clients that you may be looking for. Um, your opportunity, your, I'm sorry, your perseverance will not go unrewarded. And maybe, again, this poverty mindset that some of you may have if you don't, that's fine, but if some of you do have this, it may have come from a mother wound, a feminine wound, or, you know, for some of you who may have even lost your mother at a young age, um, I don't know, it, it feels like you never got that nourishment, that support, and it has created some sort of lack within you, but it's going to be fulfilled, it's going to be replaced Yes, you could do it on your own, but I think outside of yourself, if you're open to assistance, if you're open to support, it's going to flourish in. I feel it's going to be divine sent to you, Virgo. So be open to any opportunities of help, of assistance. I feel with anyone that's surrounding you right now, offering help or assistance, you can trust that. Don't walk away from it. It's what's meant to change up your life. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Gabriel, Leo energy. Keep your eyes open on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So some of you resonate with King of Wands energy. Others of you, this could be the King of Wands that's coming in your life if you're more of Queen of Pentacles energy. But your determination is a gift. That spirit is encouraging you to be fearless in your pursuit of your success, of your goals, of your dreams. And that, you know, what was really sticking out to me is experience that leads to success. Success rarely is just given to us when we see, you know, those people who it appears that they just have it all, either from privilege, either from, you know, just a stroke of luck. Usually those people don't cherish their success because it was easily handed to them. But you, Virgo, you're that comeback story. When those who have gone through failure after failure, trial and tri tribulation to get to the other side, they usually know everything that goes in to achieving this and to maintaining it. And that your experience are the building blocks to what you've learned. And what to identify, what to discern that will help your success or take away from it. And so, again, I do feel even with the difficult times you've been through, you've learned something profound from it that is going, maybe it doesn't look like it right now, but it will help your success at the end of the road. And again, some of you, by the end of August, you're really going to be experiencing this. You're really going to be feeling it. This opportunity will be coming your way. And it will provide an opportunity to finally break free from the five of pentacles that has been attached to your psych, your inner wounds, your well-being for far, far too long. Your prosperity will be yours. 
help is on the way, any sort of change that is happening in your life will lead you to your success. Learn from it, grow from it, move with it. It's growing your skin thicker, stronger. And again, you with whatever you're going through now, whatever you've lost, abundance is coming in. Prosperity is coming in. And if you were to only see what will come out of this after it all is said and done, you'll see yourself at the top of the mountain after the long climb. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get one more card and see what else Spirit wants to tell you about August. Anything else you need to hear, you need to be aware of, you need to know. And some sort of affirmation for you to remind yourself of in August. Oh, oh that is so beautiful. Your message, Virgo, is I am loved. You are loved very deeply, profoundly by spirit, by those watching over you, your spiritual team, even in the 3D. You are loved. I am dearly loved and surrounded by love. I mean something to others and I exist for a reason. My relationships are a correct and appropriate part of God's plan. Wow, yeah. So again, for a lot of you, through this Mother Mary card here, you are going to receive the love and support that maybe you felt you haven't had, that has been difficult to be open to. I do feel help is being sent on the way to you, Virgo, because you are so loved. Spirit does not want you to be down on yourself, critical of yourself. Spirit's trying to send that love your way through you know, finding feathers on the floor, letting you know your angels are around you by hearing those songs that move you so deeply that you feel was meant to uplift you and support you. It absolutely was. But honestly, too, there's two people, a king of wands and a queen of pentacles are around you that you may identify with or may support you through this that are entering your lives or reappearing in your lives. And spirit is letting them in because... They want, Spirit wants you to be looked after, taken care of. You can do it on your own. Spirit's seen that. But you don't have to do it alone, Virgo. And I think with the people coming into your life or being replaced is here so you can learn that lesson. Prosperity and abundance is on its way to you, Virgo. And with the support and the help you get in August, you're going to get there very, very soon. If you haven't already been there already amazing message Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me here for this reading. I hope it's resonated with you. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to the month of August. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you Virgo very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care Virgo.